Hey my you ladies and my you gents, I'm Steven Tosher and today I am shooting the last episode of season 2 before I progress into the all out assault on my body in season 3. Now this is just a recap of basically the whole of season 2. It's going to be a very very short video and I just wanted to kind of explain you know my thoughts and feelings basically a month and a half after I've completed season 2 and I'm now into season 3. The things that I learned in season two was that your body fat uh, percentage when you hit around 15, 17 is really hard uh, to, to burn beyond that. You know, you can be really healthy and have some fat on you, and that's kind of where the uh, a lot of the body charts and a lot of the health charts are. My cholesterol is really amazing. My uh, my blood sugar, my blood pressure, my heart rate, my my checkups with my doctor that I try to do every few months are pretty much tip top shape. I've never been in this great of a shape in my life, and you can hover between 15 to 20 percent body fat and be in that range of living healthy for a very very long time and not having any real complications that aren't like disease related or hereditary, and. I really enjoyed, uh, you know, the idea of like just you know working out at home and and having uh, the opportunity to to just kind of uh, motivate myself without any other factors or going to a specific place to to get myself you know revved up and, and working out. Uh, but at the same time, it is hard to do that at home. It is hard to shed a lot of the body fat. And so if you, you know, are going to do this, you've got to be really stringent with your eating, but at the same time, like you have seen, if you've watched over the end of the whole of season two, do not eat too little, do not uh, negate resting. Please spend as much time uh, relaxing as well, your body, your mind, and your spirit. Let your muscles relax and, and make sure that you're really paying attention to how your body feels and you don't negate the fact that like you feel really low with your energy and you're going to plow through it with a coffee or something like that. Listen to your body because you're doing this for the long term and for health. That's the, the main reason uh, for you know really living at the end of the day is to kind of do the best job that we can with the time that we've been given. So that's one thing that I think, you know, just kind of jumped out at me throughout season two was just to obviously rest properly and the fact that you can get so far with training at home and then, you know, you might need a gym if you want to sculpt your body like a bodybuilder. Uh, you might, you know, want to hit up um, maybe like going outside more of the bars or something like that. And, you know, in a climate like Canada, uh, in northern, I guess, North America or Russia or wherever you might be watching it. If it gets really cold, in particular, this really does stink because if you're outside all the time, if you're in a warmer climate, you know, there's the jungle gym you can always go to, uh, you know, but when you're working out at home, it can get frustrating to go below a certain weight or a certain fat percentage. So I guess that's one thing I really did learn. The other thing was that, you know, through trials and tribulations, you grow the most and that's where I grew, not physically <laughs> speaking, but spiritually and mentally. And, you know, during this series, I knew that I was going to be spiritually, mentally, and physically attacked a bunch because I feel like what I'm doing is good and it's right. And whether it's helping one person, a million people, whatever, it's, it's why, I'm do why I'm doing this is the reason why uh, I would get attacked. Why the reasons for what you're doing... Uh, you can't see, right? Like, I don't know who I'm going to affect and who I've already affected. And I've already affected myself in many ways. So that, you know, is just good enough. That's like the dividend that I've always wanted. So, yeah, to, to make a long story short, I think whenever you do something really positive, whether it's for yourself or for a bunch of other people, it's going to affect uh, you know, the way the energy is out in the universe, the way, you know, you feel attacked by spiritual presences or whatever you believe in, there's going to be an inbound. So that's uh, something else that I learned. Now, finally, this is kind of a, a bit of a treat uh, for myself. I found my suit from when I was around 13, 14, 15, when I had my growth spurt. And so I'm actually, I'm just going to reach for it over here. This suit uh, was actually a suit that I had when I was probably hovering between 
190 to about 210 and I haven't been this small in like 13 14 years and I wasn't at full growth as you can see if you know you go to my, my shoulder length here right oh you can't see it on camera here if you go to my shoulder I'm gonna have to hold this out like this if you go to my shoulder here like you can see how far I have to come back to like keep it up because if you go shoulder to shoulder here uh, on the, the suit jacket like you can see like it's like that much shorter so like this was me back in the day so I'm just going to throw this suit jacket on which is really exciting I, I did throw it on earlier I can't lie to you this isn't the first time but I just kind of want to show you where I used to be at and where I'm at now uh, it's not the greatest tailored suit but uh, it's for a 40102 and at this time I think I think my chest is like chest and shoulders are like a 40 48 right now. I think I used to be with like a almost a 60. So as you can see, uh, Mr. High School Steve and or uh, Senior Public School Steve, he had worn the suit so much and it was such an expansion that I remember. Oh, and the button just ripped off. The the button that used to be here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have to just push this button in through here. That's crazy that the button just ripped off. But anyway, you can see that the the suit is still humongous for me. Um, it's dangling a bit. It's kind of, it's still pretty heavy here. You can see my sleeves quite short, right? And remember, this suit was a suit that I probably wore to my junior, my senior public school uh, graduation. So, in thinking about this now, you know, like a decade and some later, I can wrap myself in fully uh, into this suit jacket. I, I just feel like I've come a long way and I've enjoyed staying in between 185 and 190. And I look forward to season three. I look forward to uh, what's going to happen with my body. And I look forward to just living a life of health. And, you know, if you don't have any time for, you know, the videos in the future and you're just like, okay, you know, I just want to work out at home or go for my walking, stretching and eating or change myself spiritually. You know, I understand. Don't go any further. If this is the first time you're watching the video. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, it just uh, I just wanted to share these things with you to recap to, to recap season two and to show you that even a decade later when I was probably in transitioning into the worst uh, position in my life where I gained like, like 60 70 80 pounds in like a year uh, and then I, I really wasn't able to shed it off properly without being sick for until basically now I just this is just a really a fantastic moment for me and to be able to be smaller in stature and I'm pretty sure I could still rock the suit if I had you know some uh, some long cuffs and maybe some cufflinks or something like that which I might do just as a uh, to show people where I've come from you can too and that's the whole point of this series and you know again whether it's one person watching or a million that's cool I uh, I'm just happy to be where I am and I hope that you get to where you're supposed to be I'm Steven Tosher. If you have a comment or question, drop it in the comment section below. You will see my blog and my website and everything that pertains to this video in the description. just want to say thank you so much for watching and going on the journey with me this far. Have yourself a wonderful day, evening, morning, or night. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please... Tweet! Tumble! Like! Share! Thumbs up! Plus! Ping! Or do whatever you do and please... Subscribe.